so here is the aftermath i was trying to and look at all these dishes like i'm trying to do too many things and like i was sweeping while i am like running the water for dishes and trying to clean the apartment all this stuff and i flooded the kitchen like there's water everywhere it was dripping under the sink at one point that's why i had to pull the stuff up and like now i'm pretty sure this is going to fall apart um this is just a mess i'm tired <laughs> So that scene was from this morning. Um, ever since getting engaged back in June, I have felt like this overwhelming pressure to be the perfect wife. And you know, Edek has not put this pressure on me. My fiance, his name is Edek. He has not put this pressure on me. Like it's all self-imposed and. I'm like trying to prove that like I am worth marrying um, and I'm driving myself a little crazy like I um, I'm just I'm doing the most all the time so like this morning when I flooded the kitchen I was um, so we we moved in a, a couple of weeks ago so like I was moving some boxes around um, I was making the bed I was sweeping the apartment I was trying to wash dishes like cleaning the bathroom like I was doing maybe six or seven things at once and um, like I just I'm doing too much and like I said it's all self-imposed and I don't know I I am I don't, maybe it's because like growing up my mom I watched my mom have like a number of boyfriends and then also like she had a couple of failed marriages and so to me like it almost feels like and, and a lot of no mm, a lot of people in my family like aren't married I think there's only like one or two um successfully married couples in my my family and so like it just feels like marriage is so temporary and and I don't want mine to be and so I'm doing all of these things um to make sure that like nothing messes up you know I'm a child of a broken relationship and it wasn't fun like I don't know my father and I don't want my kids to go through that you know and so I guess in a way like I don't know I don't know like maybe maybe it's just like me having watched my mom go through her relationships and um seeing how they work and how again like they're just they can be kind of temporary um and I, I just I I love you like so much and like I don't want anything to happen and no one is perfect but like you know if he didn't feel like I was the right one for him and like I couldn't be his wife he would not have asked me to be his wife you know so I think I just need to calm down you know the decision to get married is like really scary like it's exciting and it's fun and like oh my gosh like we're moving on into this next point in our lives but also like it's so frightening to like this is going to be the person that you're spending the rest of your life with you know um and it's scary and I don't want to mess anything up like I just don't want to mess up but my lesson learned from this morning is that I just kind of I need to relax and like it's okay um it's so it's okay to n not try to do so many things at once and to take your time and to take a breath and to ask for help you know, Edek um, is pursuing his PhD right now, and so, you know, he's at work right now. Um, but if I need help, it doesn't hurt to ask, you know. And I guess that's part of marriage is, like, learning to ask for help and knowing that it's okay to ask for help. Um, and dividing things and, and making sure that, you know, I don't know. <laughs> 
this is crazy this is crazy um but yeah so that's my i needed to i needed to get that out that's my my thing going on right now it's just like I'm trying to prove my worth when it doesn't need to be proven. If I wasn't worthy of this love and, you know, of everything that was happening right now, like, it wouldn't be happening. So, I just need to calm the F down. <laughs> I just need to calm down. Um, so, thanks for listening, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. I'm going to go relax. Drink some tea. <laughs> Sit on the couch. I don't know something. I'm just going to go relax. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.